Oxalic acids are amazing, and they're significant for water in a number of ways. The number one takeaway from this video is that fulvic acids have the capacity to carry and deliver minerals in an organic form. Well, what does that mean? The word organic, by definition, means that something contains carbon. Well, life on this planet is carbon-based, and for most life forms on Earth, nutrients are best assimilated when they're delivered along with carbon complexes. In other words, when they're delivered organically. Even plants prefer to receive minerals this way, and this is where fulvic acids come in. Fulvic acids are organic acids. They're produced in tiny amounts by microbes as organic matter decomposes in the soil. So they're made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. These are the five basic building blocks of organic life. Fulvic acids have the capacity to carry the entire spectrum of minerals as well as vitamins and other plant, plant nutrients. And they're all delivered in a biologically available form. This is why plant roots form symbiotic relationships with microbes. The microbes produce fulvic acids and the fulvic acids deliver the nutrients. But fulvic acids do so much more than just deliver minerals in a biologically available form. They function in so many ways within a healthy ecosystem, including the ecosystem of the human body. And here's the second takeaway from this video. No other known biological substance can modify so many electrochemical and metabolic processes. Beyond being mineral carriers, fulvic acids increase cellular permeability. That's part of the reason that they improve nutrient absorption. They speed up metabolic reactions. They scavenge free radicals. They help buffer pH. They deactivate pesticides, radioactive compounds, heavy metals, and lots of other toxins pulling them from the body. Fulvic acids are also full of life force because nature preserves energy. And all the energy that was captured from the sun during plant growth gets stored in the carbon complexes of fulvic acids as plant materials broken down in the soil. And we've got more details about each of these functions I just mentioned in the article on the Dancing with Water website. So most natural water contains fulvic acids. Springs, rivers, lakes, and especially the oceans all have fulvic acids in varying amounts. If you drink water supplied by Mother Earth, you're likely getting easily available minerals in their natural organic state in the water. But sadly, and here's the third important takeaway from this video, anything organic is automatically removed from water during modern water treatment. Because when chlorine interacts with organic compounds, toxins get formed. These are toxins called trihalomethanes or THMs. So nature's delivery tool, fulvic acids, have to be removed if chlorine is used to disinfect our water. Where water is concerned, fulvic acids play a role in the creation of full-spectrum living water. They contribute to water's molecular structure and they add life force. And if the water is already structured before fulvic acids are added, the new molecular array assembles more rapidly and it develops a network with the energetic signature of a three-dimensional flower of life. So, Here's how to use fulvic acids in water. First of all, always begin with the best water possible. Never add fulvic acids to chlorinated or fluoridated water. This will form those toxins 
called THMs that we mentioned. Next, add minerals. Most folic acid products have some minerals already in them, but often you're going to want to add some additional minerals. That's for greater mineral balance and to have minerals delivered to you, your body, more efficiently. Then third, structure your water using any of the methods that we talk about in the book or on the website. Then add fulvic acids and let the water sit for a few minutes before you drink it. You can drink it right away, but ideally you want to give the fulvic acids time to incorporate all the minerals in your water. Melanie and I have found that fulvic enhanced water is best when you make it fresh, just a few minutes before you drink it. Once you dilute it, it can begin to lose life force, so best to drink it within an hour or so after adding the fulvic acids. Start with the lowest suggested amount, or a little less. Fulvic acid goes a long way. If you're using the fulvic acid product called fulvic acid from Trace Minerals Research, begin with just one or two drops in a glass of water once a day. You can build up from there. More is not always necessarily better. Every product is different, so follow the directions and keep in mind that the use of structured and mineralized water may mean you can use less than the suggested amount. You can drink fulvic acid enhanced water with or without food any time of the day. And here's another thought. As the backbone of life, Carbon provides energy in a lot of different forms. The mineral that's known as shungite is mostly made of carbon with an active crystalline form of carbon called fullerenes. This is elite shungite and there are other videos on this subject. But if you use shungite to structure your water before you add fulvic acids, then the water is even more potent and has even more life force. The result is this robust, full-spectrum living water with an abundance of life force. And remember, fulvic acids can be very cleansing. So pay attention to your body and depending on your circumstances, the optimum amount that you're going to use, whether you're building up and starting or whether you're using it on a regular basis, is going to vary. We hope you'll enjoy the addition of fulvic acids to your dance with water.